you find in David in the Old Testament. Here's a man who really knew what true joy was. He rejoiced in Jehovah as few other men in all the scripture. Now David wasn't perfect, but he had a repentant heart. And through that repentance, through that intimacy with his heavenly father, God shared his heart. And what he saw was not just through his eyes, he saw through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. Folks, you can't grieve over the sin that's in the church or in the world or in your own heart until you see it through the eyes of the Lord. America today has shed an ocean of blood. Our leaders, the majority of the feelings and the thoughts of the United States people, the American people, refuses to stop the bloodshed and the sucking out of the life of our unborn innocent babies in the third trimester. And I want to tell you, any preacher who tells me that God is not going to judge this nation for its bloodshed has to totally ignore the example of Scripture. Folks, we have an ocean of blood 3,000 miles long, 2,000 miles wide, and 35 to 40 million cries of babies, and you tell me God's not going to judge America? An ocean of blood. Manasseh shed a rivulet of blood compared to the ocean of blood that we have shed in this nation, in this country. America kills its unborn because it has refused to believe what this book says about bloodshed. If we were a Bible-believing nation under the authority of the scriptures, this could never happen.